Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we have our pickup from New Comic Book Day. Uh, it's a pretty big bag, uh, mostly because there's uh, bags and boards in there as well. Uh, I picked up silver size or silver age size. I normally get the regular uh, standard size, but I found that like when I'm putting the bag or putting the book into the bag, the sides the seams start to rip. So I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try the Silver Age, see how that works out. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I've just been finding that one. It's just like a regular size book, like the regular $3.99 books. I put them inside, and like sometimes it's okay, but it's like sometimes like the seams start to rip on the sides of the bag. And yeah, that's kind of annoying. So, and it's like the name brand, like big name quality, like the Comics Pro line. So I thought for sure it'd be good, but I'm gonna try Silver Age, see if the seams are a little bit better, because there's more uh, room, I think like a quarter inch or something. So hopefully um, that works out for me. So we have our stack. It is pretty big. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's ten. Plus I think like four variants. <laughs> so all right, we're gonna start off. I could do like a top ten, but I'm just gonna show my pick of the week at the end of the video. Even though a lot of the reviews for the book so far have been not the greatest. Starting off, we have Moon Knight issue number one, uh, issue number, or issue number two, issue number two of Moon Knight, uh, but yeah, issue number one was really, really good. I think, uh, it was pick of the week for pop, uh, culture philosophers, uh, Rock and Robbie. He picked it as his pick of the week, issue number one, uh, but then he didn't really like issue number two, so I'm kind of hoping this, uh, is good, because issue number one was super amazing, like, the art is amazing, and, uh, yeah, it just looks so good. There's like a teaser page for you guys, but yeah, it's super good. I love Moon Knight, so I have to pick it up. I'm really, really hoping this is good, but uh, yeah, like hopefully that's probably my, my most uh, my most anticipated book uh, out of this uh, stack here. So moving on, we have another Moon Knight book. Uh, this is the Peach Momoko uh, cover. This is pretty sweet looking. I love the flowers and everything. It just looks so good. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure if this is, like, an anime variant or not. I know she did a couple of those, but, uh, yeah, it looks so good. Sweet. I love the flowers, though. That's so sweet. So, Peach Momoko, uh, variant cover. All right, so next we have Boom Studios, uh, Eat the Rich, issue number one. Um, yeah, apparently this is not doing that great either. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, written by Sarah Gailey, art by Pius Bach, I believe. And, uh, colored by Roman Titov, uh, Titov? I don't know. But anyways, there's the Jenny Frisson, uh, variant cover. Um, yeah, this is really sweet looking. I love it a lot. I don't know what it's going to show up, but there's some birds flying in the background there. There you go, some seagulls. But, uh, yeah, it's for mature readers only. I'm not too sure exactly what it's about. I guess it's like a girl and this guy go on vacation and, uh, some stuff happens. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can show you guys some teaser art. But, uh, yeah, there. There's some uh, interior work for you guys. It looks pretty cool, though. Like, I love the colors. It looks really neat. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to reading this from Boom Studios. All right, guys, so moving on, we have Image Comics, issue number six of Noctera. Uh, this is written by Scott Snyder, art by Tony Daniel. Like I said in previous videos, I have not read uh, many of these issues. I think I read like issue one and two and then that's it. But I'm still picking it up. Uh, reviews have not been great, but uh, I love Tony Daniels art and I love issue number one. So uh, kind of hoping because I guess this is the end of the first arc. So I'm just gonna sit down and read all six in one sitting. Hopefully it's good and apparently it's not the greatest, but it's, it's really cool how like uh, the story where like uh, there's no more light in the world. The light just goes away one day. It's pretty sweet looking and there's like these monsters coming out. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I can't remember if it's ongoing or 12 issues, but anyways, it's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, reviews have not been great. Moving on, we have Kang the Conqueror, uh, issue number one. Uh, this is standard cover A. Uh, pretty sweet looking. Uh, don't know who's writing this. It is Colin Kelly. Art by Carlos Mag Magno. Uh, the color is by Espen. Oh my, I'm gonna butcher that name. Grunders Grunderturn. I don't know. 
Anyways, there we go. Pretty cool looking. I'll show you guys some interior art if I can. Don't want to spoil anything. But anyways, there's some art here for you guys. Pretty cool looking. But yeah, reviews have not been great on this one either. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I guess it's like a younger version of Kang and an older version of Kang battling or something like that. I don't really know. But it uh, looks pretty cool. It's only five issues, uh, limited series. So I'm definitely going to stick around for all five because yeah, that's, it just seems really, really cool. All right, guys. So moving on, we have another Peach Momoko uh, cover. I think this is an anime variant. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, it's uh, the Peach Momoko cover for uh, Kang the Conqueror again, issue number one. Uh, but yeah. It says right there on the back, Kang the Conqueror, number one. Stormbreakers variant. Peach Momoko, pretty sweet looking though. So yeah, pretty excited for that one. And we have another Kang the Conqueror uh, variant cover that I had to pick up. Because I do love Scott e. Young art and uh, this is so cool. Uh, yeah, another Kang the Conqueror, number one. This is Scott e. Young, the baby variant. I like how he's standing on the earth and it says Conquered. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, Scott e. Young variant. Very excited for that. Alright guys, we have only three more to go. Alright, so next up we have Sinister War, issue number three. I believe there's a couple more. Uh, and then finally, next semester is done. Everyone's going to be super happy. And uh, hopefully the series gets better because, yeah, apparently not a lot happens in this. It's just a lot of action. It's not a lot of progression in the story. But uh, let's see if I can show you guys some interior art here. But... Uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but like, yeah, it's leading up to something big, and then another Spider-Man is going to make an appearance, I believe in issue 75 of Amazing Spider-Man, so pretty excited for that, and uh, Zeb Wells will be taking over. There was a teaser in the Free Comic Book Day issue, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, get into uh, the series. Next up we have Bermuda. Uh, this is the art by Nick Bradshaw. This is what got me into this series. Uh, this is uh, Bermuda, issue number two by IDW. Uh, I'm not too sure who the writer is, but I do love Nick Bradshaw's art. So, uh, writer is John Lehman. But, uh, yeah, pretty sweet looking uh, cover art by Nick Bradshaw, who's Canadian, so that's why I had to pick it up. And I uh, met him a couple of times at cons, and he's such a nice guy. I got him an autograph, a few of my books. Uh, but yeah, it looks so, so good. Like, the art is like, amazing. Wow. But, uh, yeah. Bermuda, issue number two. Very excited. Last up, we have The Trial of Magneto, issue number one. Uh, right here. I have not really... I don't really know what's going on previous to this. To what le led up to this. I know there's, like, a little... I don't know. Introduction. Here saying what's going on before you start reading, I guess, so hopefully that helps. But uh, I believe this is only five issues as well. There's a lot of cool looking variant covers that I picked up. Uh, there's like an Archer one that looks really good, Peach Momoko, and there's a Mark Brooks variant cover. I picked all of those up as well. Pretty excited. They all look amazing. Archer one is really, really good. But uh, yeah, I guess Magneto killed Scarlet Witch or something, and then he's missing, and... Uh, yeah, I guess people are trying to find them or something like that. Who knows? But it looks pretty cool. And uh, I'll show you guys some interior art right here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool looking. It looks really good. But, yeah, reviews have not been the greatest. So, hopefully, um, yeah, it's good to me. Hopefully. All right, guys, so moving on to my pick of the week. Um, considering I have not read any of these books, but... Uh, because issue number one was so good, my pick of the week for this week will have to be Moon Knight issue number two. I'm really, really hoping the reviews are wrong, and this is actually really good, because issue number one was just amazing. So, so good. So, issue number two, really, really, I really hope I'm not disappointed, because that issue number one was just so great. Wow, I loved it a lot. If you have not checked out issue number one, definitely check it out. And, uh, yeah, it's really, really good jumping on point for new readers and old readers, so... Even if you're not familiar with the character, it's so good, so I really, really uh, recommend it. So yeah, my pick of the week for this week is Moon Knight issue number two. Fingers crossed, it's actually really good. It's pretty much a tie between this and uh, Kang the Conqueror. 
Uh, those are my two anticipated books of the week. So let me know in the comments uh, what you are picking up for this week for New Comic Book Day. Hope you guys enjoyed your New Comic Book Day pickups. And uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.